this is Miklos and I want to talk to you about the best A320M motherboard that is overclockable surprisingly so it's the um, Gigabyte A320M S2H version 2 all right make sure when you look for this board it has the one with a version 2 on it because this version has a B350 chipset which enables it to be overclocked um, all right so the processors and the rams can be overclocked by this a320m s2h v2 by gigabyte okay so now i'm going to open it and i'll show you what's inside the box all right all right so if we open this board we i already opened the plastic so we have the back plate okay you also have the SATA cables it's two pieces and I'll show you the motherboard itself I already used this okay I just wrapped it back so that you can see what's inside okay so now this uh, motherboard has um, yeah if you can see it has two RAM slots and it has one um, PCIe slot okay and I'll let's show you the back All right okay so if you can see here it has one PCIe slot and two PCI slots and one NVMe slot which is great for a budget board okay there's the slots I was talking about and um, the only downside to this it only has two RAM slots but apart from that, it's really good for its price. Okay. So it also has an 8-pin. This is why it's a great overclocking board for its price. And of course, apart from the 24-pin that it normally has. So, alright. So here is the um, benchmark under Cinebench for the uh, A320M board. If you can see here... Uh, this is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. I just don't know why it shows 4.2 here, but it's overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Okay, so I got 505 points single core and 3,902 points. Guys, if you don't know what this means, this is the same score or average score that you'll be getting on a Ryzen 5 3600X. So this is a non X bar. Um, version of the Ryzen 5 3600 is really not bad for its value for being a quote end quote A320M motherboard. Although it's kind of cheating because it uses a B350 chipset. But regardless, it's it's really good board for its price. The fact that you can overclock your RAM and processor at the same time is really a steal price. All right, so now guys, this is the Fermark stress test of uh, the motherboard, okay? So right now I'm using a water cooling um on my I'm using water cooling rather on my processor. So it's a bike ski um thread ripper uh water block and of course, I'll get good temps, but if you can see here, it's currently overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz all cores and I'm just getting 65 degrees and 66 rather so the highest I got from my previous run was um, 68 degrees Celsius if I remember correctly so yeah I have nothing more to say about this board it's it's really good for its price so here in the Philippines um, it's around 2,900 pesos, if I remember correctly. So you, you can just convert it. All right. Okay, so that concludes the review of this video. Uh, just a few things. Remember, if you're trying to look for this model of motherboard that you can overclock, make sure is it's the... Um, Gigabyte A320M S2H version 2. Guys, you need to make sure it has a version 2 
at the end of it because there's another version of this which doesn't have the version 2 um, and the version 2 has a B350 chipset compared to the uh, other one okay so if you like this video just comment down and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below on what you'd like to see for my future contents thank you and have a great day